What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Disc Golf Nerd Plastic Podcast. In this episode, we're going to break down the news that the Disc Golf World Tour is not going to return for the 2018 season. Um, this was kind of a surprise for many people in the disc golf community, myself included, um, to see that the Disc Golf World Tour, after having announced their 2018 schedule, is now pulling the rug out and deciding to take their ball and go home. I don't understand exactly what's happening with all this, and I don't think we're getting the real story. Um, I may get considerably more negative and kind of sarcastic in this episode than you guys are used to getting from me. Just because, for the most part, uh, I'm a fan of everything, and I'm just trying to promote it because I like it. Disc Golf World Tour is not one of those things. I have not been a fan for since day one. They've done some good things that I've enjoyed. I've, you know, for the most part, it's been okay. But honestly, it's it's really just been a big marketing campaign, uh, and really not anything new or different or exciting in my in my opinion. They're basically taking events that are already established and uh, aggressively branding them towards themselves as Innova, Disc Mania, and Disc Golf Park. Disc Golf Park is UC Merezma's other company uh, other than Disc Mania. Disc Mania is made by Innova. It's all under the same umbrella, and you're basically bombarded with the same commercials for the same company on every single event that's kind of what happened with the disc golf world tour i mean they had grip they had dude and uh maybe a handful of others but on most of the content for the disc golf world tour you're seeing the same commercials for innova and disc mania and disc golf park over and over and over again i have not been a fan since day one i've been uh kind of frustrated with the entire thing um, and so if I get negative, uh, during this whole little podcast here, I apologize if you guys are not used to seeing that from me and it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. That's, that's unfortunate. Um, but I'm going to keep it real as, as Bobby says, I'm going to try to keep it real with you guys. I might pull some punches just to keep it a little bit more cordial than I may like to, to be perfectly honest with the disc golf world tour. Um, but, uh, let's get into it. So on... When did this get released? I'm not sure if there's a date stamp on this article. Oh, the 9th. November 9th, 2017. It was it was announced that the Disc Golf World Tour is going to take the 2018 season off. Leading many people, myself included, to speculate, will we ever see the Disc Golf World Tour again? But we'll get to that a little later. So let's start by reading the article itself. And uh, just to get that out there, I'm sure most of you guys saw this article. If you care about my opinion on this, I'm sure you've seen the article to begin with. But I'm still going to read it just to keep it all together. So, Disc Golf World Tour, vis- the Disc Golf World Tour's vision is to be the premier global disc golf promotion effort by offering the highest caliber events and widest media exposure. I'm going to try to refrain from commenting on this while I read it. Um, One of the Disc Golf World Tour's main goals is to establish disc golf as a recognized sport around the world through creating innovative opportunities for commercial partners. After two years of running the tour, the Disc Golf World Tour management has has made the decision to take the 2018 season off and not organize any Disc Golf World Tour events during that time. Individual events such as the United States Disc Golf Championship will still continue to run despite not being part of the Disc Golf World Tour. Disc Golf World Tour gained a firm spot in professional disc golf as the first global disc golf promotion. Still not going to comment. Sorry. We arranged events on three continents. However, we have not achieved our goal with the current efforts. In 2018, instead of continuing the current rather small disc golf viewerships, Disc Golf World Tour will concentrate its efforts in reaching major outside the sports part partnerships uh, outside the sport partnerships to enable launching a bigger and better tour in 2019 we want to take we want to thank all our fans and followers as well as our event partners and promoters for these action-packed years uh, two action-packed years special thanks go to innova surprise surprise and all our our tour partners who made the launch of this tour possible okay So that's all they gave you as far as an explanation for why the Disc Golf World Tour is starting to go away. I understand that a lot of people out there are fans of the Disc Golf World Tour and are saddened by this news. 
And uh, I tr- I'm going to try to be respectful to that, but at the same time, I don't share that opinion. I would prefer the Disc Golf World Tour would just go away. Um, I haven't been a fan of it since the beginning, and a lot of the decisions that were made along the way, and uh, I'm not really all that upset to hear that it's going away. That's m- perfectly fine with me. Um, all right, so let's break down this article and talk about a couple of these things. I, uh, I couldn't help myself but kind of almost laugh at some of the stuff that's in this article. So, And it's only a couple of paragraphs. So, the vision is to be the premier global disc golf promotion off effort by offering the highest caliber events and widest media exposure. Okay. Highest caliber events, sure. Had some great events in there. Um, and good stuff, you know. Great events, high-level players, all that stuff. Widest media exposure? I mean, that's laughable. There's, in what way? By having one card coverage of your events, that's the hot, that's the widest media exposure. Every single disc golf pro tour event had the the women's pro open division at least the lead card and live coverage. So you're clearly not at the widest media exposure. I think that's absolutely ridiculous statement. One of the Disc Golf World Tour's main goals is to establish disc golf as a recognized sport around the world through creating innovative opportunities for commercial partners. Um, what does that mean? That it's all about just being able to make money off of sponsors? Uh, that, that just I don't even know what that exactly is supposed to mean. Um, so then they go on to say that... Um, Disc Golf World Tour gained a firm spot in professional disc golf as the first global disc golf promotion. Let's be real here. They had a couple of events in Europe, one event or a handful of events in the United States, and they had one event in Australia. Is that global? Is that really global? That's not global. Do they have anything in Asia? Do they have anything in South America? No, they didn't. That's not global. That's the United States, a couple of different places in Europe, and they had one event in Australia. They didn't create any of these events. These were all events that were already established. I believe maybe one event throughout their entire tenure over these last two years was a brand new event, which was, I think, the La Mirada Open or something like that. Other than that, they've literally just rebranded other tournaments that already existed and brought them under the Disc Golf World Tour umbrella and used them as an opportunity to play an absurd amount of commercials for Innova and Disc Mania and Disc Golf Park and Innova and Disc Mania and Disc Golf Park after every single hole of coverage for every single event that they've had. I mean, I've, I'm not sure when they first started doing that, but it absolutely blew my mind. When I got halfway through the first round video when I started to realize they're they're literally going to play a commercial after every hole I, I couldn't even wrap my head around it I, I guess some people are just have a better ability to kind of turn a blind eye to that sort of stuff I couldn't handle it I still can't handle it it drives me insane I watch these videos on my computer and I skip through every single commercial I have no interest in supporting any of this stuff when you bombard me with that much uh, exp- with that much of just constant over and over and over again, I, I, it makes me never want to buy anything that you have. That's, that's how I feel. I mean, I could be wrong or, or, I mean, it's not really something that's right or wrong. It's more of just a, a feeling. Your mileage may vary, but when I see the same commercial 15 times, I want to buy anything but that product. That's all, that's all I got to say about that. Um, clearly marketing and media strategies work with most people. I'm not one of those people. I, I don't like that stuff. You know, uh, the disc golf pro tour, and I'm going to try to avoid just kind of constantly making comparisons between the two. You guys know, if you pay attention to to this podcast and to my channel overall, that I'm much bigger fan of the disc golf pro tour and everything that they have going on. Um, they're much more inclusive. They spread the love so much more. They have a bunch more different partners yeah they use the same ones sometimes if they're a principal's partner for a specific event but for the disc golf world tour every single video of every single round of every single tournament they had was the same four or five commercials over and over and over again after every hole and i just thought it was beyond obnoxious uh, you you guys may completely disagree i i 
totally respect that if you think it's fine. I feel like it wasn't super obtrusive. Some of the commercials were relatively short, but were they needed? This is the that's the thing. Like, sure, it was only a eight or ten second little like logo of Dismania and a picture of Eagle throwing or whatever the case may be. Sure, is that a big deal? No, it's not. Does it need to be there? Does anybody is anybody confused about who's putting on the Disc Golf World Tour? I really don't think anybody is like. Oh man, I wonder if Discraft is sponsoring this event. I mean, seriously, do we need that ev- after every hole? I thought that was crazy. So, let's continue with this with this article. All right. So, um, global? No, you're not global. So, just I'm not I'm not buying that part of the article. We arranged events on three continents. Sure, technically you did. It was Europe, North America, and Australia. Is I, I guess that counts. Was there? Well, there were no Asian or South American events. Um, were there? Am I missing something? Did I forget about something? I don't. I really don't think so. However, we have not achieved our goal with current efforts. In 2018, instead of continuing continuing to continuing with the current rather small disc golf viewerships, Disc Golf World Tour will concentrate its efforts in reaching major outside the sports partnerships to enable launching a bigger and better tour in 2019. So what they're saying is every time you watch their video, that wasn't enough for them. The amount of views that they got on their coverage, the USDGC, that's just rather small and whatever. So I don't care enough to continue doing this because there's just not enough people watching it for me to bother. So I'm just going to just forget it. Never mind. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and I'm going to tell Budweiser, hey, um, so not enough people are watching our events to actually run the tour this year, even though it was only going to be three events months and months apart to begin with, which is not a tour, let's be honest. Um, nobody's really watching it enough to satisfy us for actu- us to actually run it. So how about you guys want to sponsor 2019, give us a couple million dollars, uh, because what we have right now is not good enough for us to even bother doing it anymore. Does that, does that compute to you guys? Do you think any, any outside the sport partnerships are going to emerge after the Disc Golf World Tour themselves have said that the viewerships they're getting is not enough for them? Is, is it going to be enough for some major outside of the sport partnership? Does that make any sense? Or does that sound like a fake excuse for the real reason that the Disc Golf World Tour is not coming back? What might that reason be? I don't know. Maybe this article is perfectly uh, accurate uh, according to what their opinion is based on, on their feelings. And it's just they're just not kind of achieving what they're hope what they were hoping to achieve and rather than continuing to try to build it they're just going to take their ball and go home maybe that's maybe that's true but does it make sense that they're decided that since they're not getting enough views and their viewerships are so small that what they're going to do instead is go and try to shop that small viewership around to major outside the sport partnerships to give them money for something that they didn't think was doing well enough to continue even doing that doesn't make sense to me. I think, essentially, I feel like perhaps Innova just pulled the pulled the rug out and said, "Hey, I'm not. We're not giving you guys the money to do this anymore. It's not worth it for us. We have more than enough sales coming in on Innova Plastic just based on the fact that we have uh, incredibly popular players on our team, and we're already established as the number one uh, disc golf manufacturer in the world. And we're not trying to give you guys a bunch of money." to keep doing all this stuff and just keep putting the same commercials over and over again because we're not seeing a return on that. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking might have happened. And to go from saying that uh, instead of continuing with the current rather small disc golf viewerships, we're concentrating on, on bringing out uh, other sponsors for 2019 and then go and say, we want to thank all our fans and followers. Oh, yeah? This is how you thank your fans and followers? By just pulling the plug and just, hey, I, if you guys were fans of Disc Golf World Tour, well, guess what? We're not doing it anymore because whatever you did and watching our stuff, that wasn't that wasn't enough for us, you know? We're just going to... I'm just going to go find Heineken and see if they want to give us a, you know, a couple million dollars to uh, put into 2019 since, you know, we're just not 
getting the viewership that we want. So um, we go out and see who wants to who wants to do that. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. And it's really frustrating. It's kind of ridiculous. So, so let's talk about the world tour in general. Let's get rid of the article. You guys have been more than informed, my opinion, on the commercials. They give us no media, no live coverage of any of their events, even though most of the fans out there wanted to see it for the disc, for the United States Disc Golf Championships. Um, they say that they don't want live coverage, but then they give us live coverage that amounts to essentially Avery Jenkins with a selfie stick wandering around uh, with a cell phone talking to himself for four hours. Now... I have no problem with Avery Jenkins. Avery's a great player and uh, former world champion. And he's been a tremendous ambassador for the sport of disc golf. But let's face it. When Avery Jenkins puts out, is involved in media coverage and does commentary, people don't like it. It's extremely apparent. When Avery does commentary on a video, people don't enjoy it. I'm not saying I agree. I think he does better with a co-commentator than he does by himself. He's not my favorite, but I do respect him a lot, and I would never be one of these people who's just going to bash him in the comments, but those people are out there, and there's a lot of them out there. So what they're saying is, even though you want live coverage, we're not going to give you live coverage. What we are going to do is take the guy that we know nobody likes as a commentator send him out there with a cell phone and have him talk for four hours. Not sure that makes sense for me either. So a lot of the decision-making since the beginning with the Disc Golf World Tour has rubbed me the wrong way, and I'm just... I don't care if it ever comes back. I think... uh, I I don't think it will. I kind of don't think it will. I think this is the end. Um, We'll see. Maybe they'll prove me wrong, and I'll just feel like a complete moron when they do bring in some big outside sponsorship, and they have great payouts, and everything's good in 2019, and they bring back five great events, and everything's good, and and the players are happy. That would be cool. Um, I don't see that happening, but it's possible. And uh, if that does happen, that's good for our sport, and, and I'll be happy about it. I think anybody objective... Looking in on this since the beginning with the Disc Golf World Tour, it's been pretty obvious that it's not about the game overall, and it's about the brand. It's a very aggressive media marketing campaign. I mean, it's not really a tour. A tour, for me, is something that's sequential, and it's something that you can you can start playing the Disc Golf Pro Tour, and it will kind of work its way from one event to the next. And that's a very deliberate decision. Three or four events spread out months apart in various different places in the world. It's not really a tour. I feel like that's more of a uh, series of events. Um, And again, they didn't create any of these events. They were already there. And they just kind of figured out a way to weasel in and just market the hell out of events like the United States Disc Golf Championships, which were already completely firmly established in the disc golf world. Um, The whole thing has just been kind of, uh, kind of a mess for me. I just, it's been a big miss as far as me and my preferences as a fan. Uh, Bear in mind, guys, I am a hundred percent aware that I am, I am nobody. I, I run a small rinky dink little YouTube channel I review discs, I have a bunch of people that watch my videos who I adore, and I try my best to give you guys content that's useful and informational. I try to post uh, beginner tips and information videos that may help somebody out when they're just starting out, understanding some of the concept of disc golf, because I love this sport. But I know I'm not important, and my opinion doesn't really matter in any of this stuff, but... I do have this podcast, and I do have this platform to give you guys my opinions on this stuff, and take it or leave it. Nobody forced you to listen to it. This is what I think about all this. So I don't think the Disc Golf World Tour is going to come back. I'm not sure it was ever really a tour. I I, I ultimately consider it to be just a uh, 
marketing campaign and basically an, uh, like a rebranding kind of a thing where they took some great events and uh, used them as enormous commercials for their own products. And uh, that's basically how I feel about it. Um, I think anyone, again, objective looking in on this could tell that it wasn't about the sport overall. It was much more about themselves. And you could see that, especially with kind of uh, the way other players from other teams were kind of treated on some of the content. I think it was pretty obvious that they were rooting for the Innova and Discmania players <laughs> to do well in these events. Um, I got to be honest with you guys. Every time Ricky took down a Disc Golf World Tour event as a Latitude 64 player, um, I, I enjoyed that. <laughs> I kind of liked the fact that he was kind of rubbing it, rubbing it in in a way. Like, you guys are trying to make this all about you, and uh, here's this other guy who's not on your team, and he's going to win this event instead. Is that okay? So, in summary, I don't really mind if the Disc Golf World Tour doesn't come back. I don't really think it will. The events themselves are awesome, and they're great. I love the Euro- I love watching the European big European events. I love the USDGC. I want it to do well. I want it to grow. I want the payouts to be tremendous. I want to be able to watch it live, and I want multi card coverage. Um, I would rather it be full Jomez than the kind of half Jomez spin TV stuff where they take away all the graphics, and they never let Jomez ever kind of like promote themselves, even though all the people in the know. Uh, are fully aware that it's Jomez doing the actual work out there and filming these cards. Um, I would rather it just be full Jomez. I I hope that this opens the door for there to be live coverage of the United States Disc Golf Championships um, going forward. I still kind of don't think we're going to get that. Unfortunately, we'll see. I still don't think it's gonna it's gonna work out. Um, and that's just kind of how I feel about it. What do you guys think about this whole thing? Do you think it's coming back? Do you think I'm off base with my opinions on the Disc Golf World Tour? Will you miss it? Let me know in the comments down below. Am I being a total ass? Um, I fully uh, admit that that may be the case. And it could just be my own personal bias that's getting uh, causing me to have weird opinions about all this stuff just based on certain decisions that have rubbed me the wrong way and just kind of the way UC Maresma um, behaves in the disc golf community has always kind of turned me off. He's put out a lot of like kind of attack posts about stuff that he tries to kind of like frame it like he's just throwing out a question and oh I'm just trying to get discussion going but anybody who's who's not stupid can tell that he's trying to indirectly call out other people for doing things that he doesn't like um, and doesn't agree with and uh, try to pretend like, oh, hey, I'm cool. I'm just I'm just trying to talk about this. I'm not trying to um, talk down to anybody. Meanwhile, it's pretty clear that he is. And uh, maybe I had a bias going into this whole experience with the Disc Golf World Tour just based on that. Who knows? All I got to say is... Uh, I think Steve Dodd is moving in the right direction. I'm going to keep trying to support this golf pro tour in any way I can. Um, I think it's, I think it's great. I think it, it's a, a really great celebration of our sport as a whole. It's extremely inclusive. There's a ton of different sponsors and manufacturers that are involved. Um, doesn't seem to be any bias towards any manufacturer, or any player or any brand of any kind. It's just about disc golf and the family of disc golf and growing our sport and uh, I think it's great. So, in a perfect world, what would I like to see happen? I would like to see Yusuf Maresma grow and promote a really strong, solid European pro tour. Um, doesn't have to be, you know, you can call it whatever you want. Stay away from the USDGC. Don't try to pretend like it's the whole world when it's Europe and North America and one event outside of that. Take Europe where your home base is and really try to keep building it. He's done amazing things in Europe already in terms of growing disc golf. And uh, whether I like him or not, I have to respect that. And I do. I would love to see him just continue to grow a super solid kind of PDGA national European tour. You know, like a, like a national tour, but like a European tour. 
that's at a really high level, and I would love to see the Disc Golf Pro Tour and perhaps the PDGA National Tour here in the United States interact with that tour for certain large events and kind of come together for uh, different things. You know, maybe we'll see a Worlds held in Finland or Sweden or somewhere in Europe at some point soon. I think Finland is the most uh, likely option. Maybe Sweden. I think that would be great. I'm sure if that happens, UC will be involved. Um, and all that could be totally fine. But um, I just... I prefer stuff that's more real and transparent and... Uh, I hope to see I hope to see that kind of continue. Um, the Disc Golf World Tour has been just not very honest. It just doesn't seem very honest to me, and I think that's what really turns me off. It just seems like to be very, very grandiose and very uh, self congratulatory, and uh, just not very humble, not very transparent, and. Uh, that frustrates me and it disappoints me as a disc golf fan. That's my opinion on this whole deal. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, hopefully I haven't really upset any of you guys uh, with my opinion and turned you off from my content going forward. But if that's the case, I guess I'm not going to really change it now. I'm going to put this out there. Um, some people will see it. It's not going to be that big of a deal. It's just the Disc Golf Nerd Plastic Podcast here on YouTube. I know I'm not a big deal, so don't don't think for a second that I feel like I'm this big this big deal in the disc golf community and I'm going to make these changes and my opinion matters. I'm just throwing it out there to let you guys know what I think because uh, I care about you guys. I like you guys very much. Uh, I appreciate all the support of all my fans out there and my viewers, and you guys are my disc golf community, and I want to have a discussion with you guys and see what you think of all this stuff. Am I totally off base? Am I being a jackass? Y'all let me know. I will check y'all very, very soon. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.